This program is brought to you by Emory University. In August of 1963, the civil rights movement was focusing on a, a march on the nation's capital in support of a civil rights bill. And this was right after a series of crises um, in the United States. And most important, in May of 1963, uh, civil rights marchers marched peacefully into Birmingham, Alabama, and were just brutalized um, by uh, the police. So these horrible images were all over the nation's press, and they were also plastered all over the press around the world. This was in the middle of the Cold War. The Cold War, when the US was the leader of the free world, when the US argued that its system of government was a model for the rest of the world, and the world should follow the United States, not its adversary, the Soviet Union. And so countries around the world would say, you know, America, first of all, don't tell us how to run our own governments uh, if you're treating your own people this way. But also, what is so great about democracy if within the nation, the world's leading democracy, uh, people of color are treated like this? And folks in India and Africa and other parts of the world, especially people of color, would say, if the United States treats people of color like this in their own land, how do they feel about us? Kennedy's advisors said to him, look, you care about foreign policy and you care about economic policy and civil rights is the third leg of the stool. You can't make progress on the things you really care about if you don't also do something about civil rights reform. The Kennedy administration was concerned that Kennedy would look weak as an international leader if he wasn't able to manage this, uh, this protest movement at home. So part of essentially demonstrating that he was an effective statesperson, uh, effective statesman, as well as uh, dealing with the global reaction about you know, American abuses and what that meant about the nature of American democracy. So these different reasons helped encourage the Kennedy administration to take a stronger stand um, on civil rights reform. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.